Hello friends, welcome to this uh, operating system class and in this class we will discuss something about the thread libraries. Uh, we are having three different libraries, first one is POSIX thread that is P thread and second one is Win32 thread that is Windows thread and third one is Java thread. Let us see all those things one by one in this lecture. Thread library. The thread library provides the programmer with the application programming interface for creating and managing threads. That is all the threads will be created and managed by using the thread library only. And here there are two uh, ways of implementing thread library. The first one is user level library and second one is kernel level library. Okay. Let us see the user level library first. In this user level library, the library thread is created in user level and there is no kernel support here. And all the codes and data structures of the thread will exist only in the user space. Hence, suppose if we call the thread, that results only the local function call and there is no system call here because there is no involvement of kernel in the user level library. Okay, because the thread is created in user level. This is user level and this is kernel level. The thread is created only in this area and it will execute only in the user level. So, there is no interaction between the kernel here. And the second uh, type of library is kernel level library. It supports directly by the operating system because the thread is created in this kernel level, so directly affected by the operating system. Here, the code and data structure of this thread will exist in the kernel space in this area. Okay, And invoking the function in the application programming interface for this library that typically results the system call okay, to the kernel, system call to the kernel because this is the kernel level library hence all the functions calls will become the system call here but when come to user level library this is a simple local function call the thread will be called only by this local function call okay and next let us see some important uh, thread libraries the first one is POSIX thread and second one is win32 library and third one is Java thread. Let us see all those things one by one. First one is POSIX thread. Here the header file is pthreads.h which is used in C and C++ programming. Programming here the POSIX thread provides either user level library, thread library or the kernel level thread library. When come to Windows 32 library which is similar to POSIX that is pthread library and creating the thread by using win32 library should always include the header file windows.h okay, in C language uh, for creating this windows threads. Here windows thread library is a kernel level library. Okay, This is not user level library which is available only in the windows operating system. Right, And the third one is Java thread. The Java thread application programming interface allows to create and manage th the threads directly in the Java programs. And now let us see some more detail about these P threads. P threads is the POSIX standard which only defines the specification of pthread not the implementation of pthread okay here the pthreads are available in the following operating system that is solaris linux unix mac os and via public domain shareware for windows also so all these operating system will supports only these pthreads here the global variables are shared among all the threads okay global variable means the data data okay one thread can wait for other thread to rejoin before continuing this is the speciality of p thread here p thread begin execution in the specified function for example the runner function 
So while calling the runner function, then only the p thread will start execute. Okay. For create the p thread will not start the execution. That is, will not create the p thread. But we have to use the start. Start function. Then only the thread is actually that is logically created. And the p thread dot h is the header file which is used in C language for the p threads. The p thread library provides the programming interface for thread creation and thread synchronization. Okay, here the p thread underscore create function which is used to create the POSIX thread in C language. Okay, which function? p thread underscore create function okay so the thread will be physically created but if it will be logically created we have to call the start function start function okay next let us see the syntax for p thread here we have to include the p thread dot h header file then only we have to create the p thread okay and int p thread underscore create what is the purpose of this one to create the POSIX thread of p thread underscore t which is specified the thread id and constant p thread attribute that is for attribute and void of routine and void of arguments which will use to for giving arguments for this thread okay First, we need to specify the thread ID and next uh, attributes. And if there is any arguments to be passed for this thread, then we have to give here. From this syntax, first uh, let us see this routine. Routine is here. Okay. Routine is a function which will execute when the thread is created. Okay. Once the thread is created, then this particular function will get executed. The parameters here, the parameters return value and input are void. See, everything are void only. Simply, we are going to create one plain thread. And next one is thread ID. Thread ID is here. Okay. Thread ID, uh, assigning a unique ID for that thread. If it is null, then no thread is returned. Right. And next one is attribute. Attributes are here. The attributes of thread will be assigned here. If it is null, then no attributes are assigned. And next one is arguments. See here, list of arguments are here. The actual arguments will be assigned here. The default value will be passed during execution. See, if we give any value here, that will be passed as a default value while executing this particular thread. And next one is return value. Next one is return value. Return value is here. The integer is the return value. If it is, if returns 0 means the thread is succeeded and if there is any value then it will be failed. Okay. So, this is the syntax of p thread. And now let us see some of the p thread functions. The first one is p thread exit. Exit function is used to terminate the current thread function. And next one is p thread kill which is used to, to send a specified signal to specified thread which is to be terminated okay we have to terminate a specified thread then we have to use this p thread kill function and next p thread join function which is used to, to uh, that is wait for termination of some other thread okay then only the current thread will get joined Okay, these are some of the p-thread functions. The next is Windows thread that is Win32 thread. In window thread, the library is the kernel level library which is available only on the Windows operating system. The main functions are similar to p-thread that is the syntax is almost same as p-thread. The header file is windows.h and here create thread function is used to, to create the thread. Here all the attributes are similar uh, like p thread along with the p thread we have additionally security
flag size and flag flag is used to indicate the current state of that thread ok see in addition to this p thread attribute we have to include the security stack size and flag for this windows thread if flag value is 0 then the thread is suspended and the third one is java thread here the jvm that is java virtual machine will run on the top of host operating system hence the java thread will be the user level thread here the windows operating system suppose if we develop a program by using windows operating system then the thread will be implemented by using win32 api api means application programming interface suppose if we create the java thread by using linux or unix operating system then we have to use p thread library okay when come to java programming there is at least one thread of control that means if there is a main method then one thread is executed or started okay there are two different methods are there to creating a thread in the java program the first one is thread class okay import thread class and override its run method this is the first method of creating thread and second method is define a class and implement the runnable interface to it okay by using this runnable interface we can create thread and this second method is only the most common method to use to, to be create a threads that is the java thread up to this we have seen the three important thread libraries first one is post 6 thread that is p thread and second one is win that is windows 32 thread and third one is java thread and this is the question time write the syntax for p thread students please write your answer in the comment box and in the next class we will see another important topic from second unit thank you